time you make and implement a decision, you are shaping your future. You got only this one life. The future is the space for all your desires, your ambitions and your dreams. Your future begins in your head and it continues in the conversations and the decisions and actions. Unfortunately, we are oftentimes overwhelmed by the complexity of the future. So wouldn't it be great if it was easier to imagine and literally manage your future? What happens when people think about the future and discuss the future? Soon there is sheer chaos. Not only because the perceptions and the opinions differ so much, another reason is even more important. We do not have a clear language for the future. There is a Babylonian confusion in the thinking and in the language for the future. When the language is not clear, so are the thoughts. When the thoughts are unclear, so are the discussions. And when the discussions are chaotic, assessments and decisions are bad and risky. How can we do better? It wouldn't make much sense to develop a complicated set of definitions that people need to learn the hard way. No one feels like that, it would not work. There is an easier way. Over more than 20 years, we've been listening to people when they talk about the future. We've done that with hundreds of teams and thousands of individuals, and we discovered exactly five categories of futures. Those are the five basic motives, the desires about the future. People want to feel oriented. They want to be safe and secure. They want to be inspired. They want to have a vision and a purpose. And they want to be focused on what is to be done. This is why people are so curious and fascinated by the future. We call those five categories the five futures glasses. The good news is you don't need to learn them. They're already in your head. You're using them on a daily basis, only you're not aware. By using the five futures glasses, you can realistically and productively manage the thoughts in your head about the future, about your future. You can easily agree on perceptions about the future, on assumptions within your team. This means you're able to think and talk much more precisely about the future. You can apply methods and tools for foresight, strategy and innovation way more meaningfully. And in the end, you can better anticipate, shape and create your future. Blue Futures glasses are for the probable future. What is ahead? How will artificial intelligence, robotics and microbiomics change your life, your work and your business? What are your future assumptions? Imagine a captain on a tall ship, on a sailing ship. For this person, all the decisions and even the physical existence of the crew, their lives, depend on pretty accurate assumptions about the sea and its streams, about the sky and its winds within the next hours and days. Nobody can exactly predict the development of the environment. You need good future assumptions for making good decisions. The blue futures glasses are for improving those assumptions. The assumptions about the probable development of your environment, about your market, the technologies, the demand and the behavior of your customers, and the behavior of your competitors, and even if those competitors of today are the competitors of tomorrow. People have a desire to know the future. They are just curious about what will come, what will stay, and what will go. They want to be oriented, they want to be safer, and thus make better decisions and reduce risk. Typical real-life assumptions with the blue futures glasses are in 2035, the population of robots will exceed the population of humans. Or, more short term, the global electrification of private vehicles will lead to more than 50% of new purchases being for fully electric cars in 2025. The blue futures glasses are for a passive outside in view. It's about the environment, about things we cannot change. It is dangerous not to question your intuitive assumptions about the future of these factors. Our brain is wired to make assumptions, but it's not wired to question them. Therefore, we need a rational, a detached, a critical mindset in order not to be jeopardized by our emotions and our habits. When we 
see the future the way we would like it to be, instead of the future that is probable. Red is the surprising future. The red futures glasses. What could surprise you? Are you sure you are prepared for the worst attacks by your competitors? Imagine the captain again. The sea and the sky are blue. The red might be the blood that is shed and the fire that burns when pirates attack the boat. Aristotle said 2,500 years ago, it's likely that something unlikely will happen. Typical statements with the red futures glasses are a pandemic with an unknown resistant virus could kill millions of people or a startup with a disruptive technology could erase us from the market. The red futures glasses are about things we can't conceive, about events and developments that we don't expect to happen. You cannot tickle yourself, so it's hard to surprise yourself. To imagine possible surprises, you should reverse your assumptions and ask, what if it turned out the other way? You should play war games, which means you ask groups of your team to simulate possible attacks at your business model by existing or by new competitors. You should do analysis of technologies with potential for disruption. The Red Futures Glasses also address the environment. It's a passive outside in view as well. What we need is a kind of a negative creativity. It's only not about probability, it's about potential surprise. The unlikely future. The green futures glasses are for the creatable future, for your opportunities. What will you live on tomorrow? How could you use new technologies and innovative strategies? What could you do to improve your life, your family, your business for a better or even brighter future? What could you do to make you fit for the future? People want to develop, they want to seize their potential. For the captain, the sky and the sea were blue, the blood and the fire were red, and green are the fruitful, fertile islands and destinations that the crew could sail to, and the possible routes to them. Opportunities are options and possible actions to create the future you want. Typical opportunities are, we could conquer the Chinese market through online sales. Or, we could use telepresence systems to reduce time and costs for travel. Everything you might do to have and to shape a brighter future is an opportunity. It is the result of seeing through the future's glasses in the color of green. Unlike the blue and the red, with green future's glasses we take an active inside-out view for the first time. We're shaping the future. For a productive use of the green futures glasses, we need as much creativity as possible. Being critical is very harmful because it destroys our ability to see the opportunities. Green futures thinking provides the ideas and the mental material from which you build the desired future and shape your strategy with the following two futures glasses. The yellow futures glasses are for the desired future, for the bright future. Where are you leading to? What is your picture of the future of your life and of your company? Which mission and vision have you decided to pursue? People want to follow a clear direction. They want to see the meaning and the purpose they work for. Again, we're taking an inside-out view. An example for a statement and a vision would be, five years from now, we want to have thrilled a billion people with our conversational user interface. The captain would choose from the imagined set of green destinations the one with the most beautiful beach or the brightest sunshine, yellow. The yellow futures glasses, they make you decide, they force you to decide on what is important to you, on the future you really want. But not as a naive dream. All in the light of what you have systematically seen through the blue, red and green futures glasses. For the desired future, we need focus, we need to decide, we need to cut off most options. Your desired future is about your mission, the purpose of your job or your business. It's about your positioning, which is your identity and how your offer is unique. The vision, the future you want to make come true and also the culture you want to live in. The 
violet futures glasses are for the planned future. How do you act now, future intelligently? What are you going to do to make your desired future come true? It is not about long-range business planning. In a complex adaptive system, in a complex adaptive world, that doesn't make any sense. Rather, it's about the agreement in the team on the next steps in the next sprint. The Violet Futures glasses are about what is to be done in order to fulfill the mission, establish the positioning, shape the culture and achieve the vision. By doing so, you are drawing a clear link between your daily business, your strategy and your vision. For instance, you would agree on a meeting with a research institute for a corporation to improve the user experience with your products. In the story with the captain, the violet color stands maybe for the bruises that you get when you work hard to execute the plan towards your vision. With the violet futures glasses, you need to be focused again, realistic and pragmatic, just like in an agile organization. We all know that our New Year's resolutions are always good, right? Sticking to them is difficult. It's in the performance that we oftentimes fail. That's why you need to build and maintain a crucial factor in the complex and fast world, execution power. The five futures glasses are the first and basic element of the Eldville model for foresight, strategy and future management. Organize your workshops, organize your strategic conversations with them. Improve and enrich your mission and vision, make it more convincing, compelling and future robust. Develop and structure your strategy with the five futures glasses. Have a bright future!